that, uh, you know, some of you came to see me because you've seen me in a movie or so, or a TV show or something like that, and um, I've been playing the guitar and singing in Wheeling, West Virginia since I was about seven, so I didn't start acting until I was about 27, so this is really the thing I used to do first, and uh, I didn't move to California to Hollywood to become an actor, I, uh, I, went, I moved to Hollywood, believe it or not, and I became a, a hairdresser. Hairdresser in 1986. Actually, when I was in hair school, was when I met him. Uh, a buddy introduced us because I used to play guitar, and I was 24 or 5 or something like that at the time. And, and my buddy Jake said, uh, You know, I didn't have anybody to play guitar with, and I didn't know anyone. And he said, Hey, I got a buddy, he's 16, but he plays a mean guitar. And he introduced us, and we've been playing guitar ever since. Um, and you saw the skills, that's Tara Nobe right there. Tara Yeah, he, uh, he was playing rockabilly. In fact, he had that guitar and probably those uh, rockabilly boots on when I met him. And you remember the Stray Cats, right? Yeah. Right, Cats? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And when when Brad Setzer left to go do the uh, big band thing in the, I guess the '90s, mid '90s, something like that. Slim Jim Phantom and uh, on the drums, on the stand-up drums and, and stand-up bass was Lee Rucker. They took him out and they played all over the world, calling themselves another Cats or something like that. So uh, that's our favorite kind of music, actually, rock Let me try to put a little bit of it into what we're doing. And uh, enough about that. This good-looking man back here, they've actually been playing. We've been a band almost, uh, I think it's 10 years, boys, because we're in 14 now. We got together in 04. So we're 10 years now down the road. And uh, this fella here, he played with the great Solomon Burke for about eight years. One of the, one of the, one of the great, greatest soul singers of, of our time. That's the hawk right there. Say hi to the hawk. And when we were putting this band together, actually, we didn't even, when we came through Molesto the first time, we, uh, <laughs> We, it was just the three of us, because he wasn't even available to come play with us. He was up in Reno getting his first divorce. <laughs> so that's why you never saw him. And I say his first one. When, <laughs> when you saw us here last time, if you saw us here before, so many years ago, then you saw this good looking man over here. That's Louis Vincent, playing the Fender bass. And he bought brand new in 1969 when he was seven years old. And he said that was 